Hey folks, this is Jack with Shire Music, one of your favorite product gurus here, and today I am talking about Larson Strings' new Il Canone cello strings. Larson Strings have released this fairly innovative new line of cello strings. It comes in two flavors, direct and focused, and warm and broad. Now, cellists like to mix and match their strings to suit their particular style or genre, or to suit their particular instrument. You know, some cellos might like a brighter string, some of them might like a darker sounding string. Larson is attempting to cover all of these bases with just these eight strings. They want you to be able to mix and match these strings to customize the sound of your instrument. On top of that, they are offering this starter pack. This starter pack is the full set of direct and focus strings with the addition of the A and the C from the Warm and Broad series. Now I'm very curious, once we get into the practice room, I want to see the application of this starter pack. I want to see how difficult or easy it is for us to find the perfect complementary set of cello strings for whichever cello I decide to grab. Professionals all over the world already really love these strings, and before we get into the practice room, I'd like to announce we're giving some of these away. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a like and a comment on this video, and you will be entered to win the double pack. That is a full set of the direct and focus strings, as well as a full set of the warm and broad series. If you follow us on Instagram and Facebook and leave a comment and a like on this video, you will be entered to win the starter pack. Either way, we want to give you some strings to allow you to customize the sound of your cello. Like I said, professionals already really love these strings, so I'm expecting once we get into the practice room that these are going to just sound terrific. What I'm going to be paying attention to today are the tonal differences between the direct and focused and the warm and broad. I want to see if putting a warm and broad string on my cello changes the tone of the direct and focus strings or vice versa. I think more so than the tonal differences though, I'm very curious about the practical application of this starter pack. I'm going to grab a couple of different sounding cellos for this play test and my goal is to use these six strings to find a great complementary set of strings for all of the cellos that I grab. I've wrangled Aaron Johnson into playing a handful of scales for us today, so why don't we head to the practice room with these strings and see how this goes. Especially when you actually dig into it. That's kind of fun. All right, I'll do the rest of the scale. Cello sort of got yeah. even more dark. process for them 
switching these out, I'd probably flip back to that direct and clear A string Yeah. for the cello. No, I, I agree. I think for that cello, the, the direct and focused A is, it would be the way to go. Yeah, but the, the warm and broad C string, yes, that definitely. That yeah. so nice. I mean, this is a Montagnano pattern cello, so mm -hmm. it's generally more dark. Yeah. Uh, but it's like you can't have too much of a good thing down there. So. Oh, those things sound great. Yeah. They sound really, really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's switch to the bright cello. Okay. This is a Strad, yeah. a strad pattern. Okay. for you and then I'll play the rest of the strings a little bit. Sounds good. Okay. too much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. setup, mm -hmm. the A string was just kind of really piercing. Very bright. Very bright. Very bright. <laughs> So for the play, the, the way you would sort of find your sound for these cellos is, or for the string, for these strings is you swap them out as you go, right? Yeah. So from what I was just observing before, I think this cuts this cello more. Welcome back to the studio. I'm fairly pleased with the results of this playtest. Uh, using just this starter set, we were able to find a complementary set of strings for a dark sounding cello, as well as a set of strings for a bright sounding cello. The fact that we got this kind of flexibility out of a single set of strings is very impressive to me. 
What's more is the direct and focused and the warm and broad flavors, they have very different tonal qualities to my ear, but the way that they sort of change when a new string from the other flavor is added, it's uh, it's like chocolate and vanilla or, or uh, peanut butter and jelly or peanut butter and chocolate or peanut butter and celery or, boy, I'm kind of hungry right now. Hmm. That's all the time I have for today, everybody. Remember, we're giving this stuff away. If you comment and like this video on our YouTube channel and subscribe to our channel, you'll be entered to win the double pack. And if you follow us on Facebook and Instagram and leave a like and a comment on this video, you'll be entered to win the starter pack. If you do all of that, and you should because you love us, you'll be entered to win all of this. Thanks for tuning in, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you here next time on The Workshop.